everyone, it's Maddie Carwheel back with another video and I'm filming outside because it's 97 degrees, almost 100 and I love warm weather. You're probably asking me, why do you like warm weather? Well, that's because warm weather, it takes way less time to cool down than it does to warm up and I just like the feeling of it better, but we all have our own preferences. I just want to apologize for not posting a video yesterday because it was Blackout Tuesday and I forgot about that Monday. So I just want to apologize for that. And if you have any video ideas you want to suggest to me, you can comment them down below or you can DM me on my Instagram, Maddie underscore Cartwheel. I posted some Blackout Tuesday stuff on there. I hardly posted. The only thing I posted was a few self selfies on my Snapchat story. And yeah, I just want to show respect for George Floyd. And that video I posted about the whole situation about him did not count for the video of the week. I just want to show awareness of that. And I will be posting an extra one tomorrow just for you guys to make up for that. So basically, I just want to say I give my respect to George Floyd and his family. I've been praying for him every day. And I hope you all are doing well if you guys are watching this wrong happened and everything. So yeah. My cat is so adorable. Can he can he deserve like the best kitty award? Award. He is so cute. Can you say hi to the camera? Oh, he's so cute. Is it shocking to see your like face, your reflection? That's what you look like, buddy. Say hi to the cartwheelers. <laughs> he loves you guys. He's just tired. Hey. So this video, I'm sure you already seen the title and the thumbnail. But this video is mainly the title, but this video is about like basically how to take care of a cat, and in my case, a Russian blue. I've had Chase, which is my cat, for over, I want to say about two years now, almost, almost, yeah, almost two years, almost two years. Uh, he is about, I want to say four or five now, and I just want to give you guys some tips for taking care of cats, or mainly Russian blues, as I know. So this one's an obvious one. This one's an obvious one. I'm just gonna be listing stuff. I'm not gonna be putting like bullets like up saying number one or number two. They're just gonna be random, so I, I don't know if I'll like keep track or something. But this one is make sure they have enough food and then sometimes make sure to put ice in their bowl if they're outside and make sure they have enough water. Yeah, sometimes like you forget about feeding them and stuff, but that's the main one. I just wanted to address that enough. And make sure they have like a color. You know, make sure they have like a color color so if they get lost. So they can never find them or a chip inside of them because my cat is really picky. He won't let us put a collar on him, not even a flea collar. So we have to put like flea medicine on him. So hopefully he doesn't get lost. But we keep him out here and he normally stays around the area. So make sure when you first get your Russian blue or cat, make sure they like know to stay around the area. Like stay outside with them for a little bit. Make sure they know where they're at. Make sure they won't run away. Keep them like in a basement where like you know it's a safe environment or maybe in the house for a little bit if you're gonna like have them as an outside pet keep them inside first so they get can get to know the area and be outside with them so they get to know the area a little bit and then let them inside let them have a little bit outside and eventually they can be outside full time if you want to have them as an outside cat so take it little by little with them most cats are very smart Smart than you think they can sense when you're sad so make sure to give them some love and see them they they need that they need love and attention you can't just give them food water and then keep feeding them and just don't give them any attention because they're just probably going to run off. So you need to give them some love and attention and as you guys know I love my cat. I post him all over my Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. I love him and you got to make sure you got to take care of them. You got to give them love and stuff and talk to them and say yeah, baby voices are very subconscious and you don't know you're doing them until you do them. They're just, they're just so cute. And to teach your cat to sit. I do this, I put my hand down, I'm like, sit, sit. It takes a while, but eventually they'll get the hang of it. And if your cat, like, uh, whines and stuff, you know, like, all loud, like, an angry meow, like, they're mad, they might have, like, gone into a fight or something or something, traumatize them. So you might want to take them to a vet or something. And this is a tip, birds, if you hear the birds and squirrels, they'll try to tease them, they'll, they'll, they'll like, get in their way, like, the cat's way, like, they'll get by them, and spy on them, and keep on lookout, and, like, talk to each other, and if you hear this in a tree, that's a squirrel laughing. And birds can laugh, too, I don't know what that sounds like, probably like that, if you hear, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, squirrels and birds tease cats and many other animals, and they'll get in, like, by them in their way and try to tease them, and they'll fly off or run off, like, just to mess with them. But my cat has caught a few birds and rabbits. It's sad, though. I mean, one time, I will tell the story. One time, my, uh, what do you call it? Yes. My 
<laughs> my cousins came over and they're little and we're like oh let's say and they're leaving and we're like let's get chase to say bye to you guys and we're like chase come here and he had a bird in his mouth and he meowed and the bird just blew out like ooh, my cat in the mouth or a cat and my cat had a frog in his mouth one time like they, they just kind of, that's just their thing if you take care of them and give them love and attention, they're going to be very loving back. They're very loving creatures. The only thing I like is when, especially when you're wearing shorts, they'll like claw, you know, they don't mean to hurt you, but even whenever they're playing with you and they're all playful, they don't mean to scratch you, but like they go like this in circles and they, they don't, you know, it hurts. It's just like sit on my lap. I just want you to cuddle with me. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. That's just their way. And if your cat shows any signs of injured or anything take him to a vet and you'll be surprised at the vet like when you take them if you're just taking for a checkup or to get some shots or something they get out of that cage like really calm like when i remember we took him to the vet to get his feline shot when we first got him and he just went out of the cage like this like so slow and he was like busting out of the cage in the car like, he wanted to get out and he was breaking his fingernails and stuff and then or his claws and then he's they're like you'll be surprised how they act the vet we're like yeah right he just, he let them check his art. He was being a good boy, weren't you? Weren't you being a really good boy at the vet? Yeah, we love you. The part viewers love you, yeah, they do. Yay. And there's a baby voice. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta treat your cat like your own, pers your per own personal kid, your own sibling, whatever. You gotta treat them like family, because they are family, no more or no less. Okay, maybe a little bit more. And make sure to clean them, yes. The only way, like, if, cats hate, if your cat hates water, some cats actually love water, take out, like, a cloth and, like, rinse them down with that, because sometimes they like that, especially on warm days. And cats shed a lot, but that that's just, that's normal, and they'll eventually stop once the season gets on, because they shed for every season. That's pretty much all I have for you guys, and I hope that helps. If I have more, I might make a part two, but I love you guys. Remember to look both ways for you dare to cross that street. And remember, everyone deserves a smile. I love you guys. Have a great day. I love you. I already said that. <laughs>